So what NARF does is it cross lists your products on different marketplaces from the United States. So essentially you can list your product in the U.S. and if someone in Mexico or Canada wants to purchase that inventory, they can purchase it and Amazon Fulfillment Centers in the U.S. will ship that product across borders to the customer um, for, for a slightly higher fulfillment fee, actually a substantially higher fulfillment fee. Right? But there's still some money to be made there, but here's the issue that most people don't realize and it's the reason why we stopped doing um, participating in the NARF program and selling products in, in, in Mexico and Canada. And the reason why is because uh, there's specific country regulations and specifications that you're not aware of because you don't live in that country, right? So let's just say you're listing a chocolate product in the U.S., right? And that product has a certain ingredient that's not allowed to be cross-border shipped to Canada or Mexico, right? And now all of a sudden you start fulfilling these orders in Canada and Mexico, and then you get an account on fire. But I can guarantee you, because you're not savvy with these other marketplaces, you're not jumping in and, and checking your account health in Canada and Mexico. So now, three, four months goes by, and all of a sudden you get an email from Amazon, your, your account is at risk of deactivation in, let's say, Canada. And you jump into your account health, and you realize you have you know four or five IP complaints, a copyright infringement claim. You have all these built-up health account health claims because you weren't focusing on fixing the account health for your business because your main focus was selling in the United States.